Hi everyone, I am in Copenhagen, Denmark, to cover the Delo Industry Days 2023. At the show, Thales is showcasing the Captas 4 variable depth sonar, the latest customer of which include uh, the Spanish Navy for the F-110 uh, frigates, uh, the US Navy for the Constellation class frigates, and the Hellenic Navy on board the FDI uh, frigates. Uh, I learned at the show here that uh, Thales uh, is partnering with a local company called Cubed In to propose a containerized version of this uh, sonar for the Royal Danish Navy. Uh, they have a requirement to fit a similar sonar system on board their Absalon class of uh, frigates. If this goes through, this would be the first uh, modularized or containerized version of the Captas 4 sonar. Let's find out more with uh, Cubed In. We are now with the CEO of Cubedin to find out more. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can you please first tell us what is Cubedin? My pleasure. Cubedin is a software company integrating modular payload to Navy ships. Uh, we are 50% owned by Danish Odense Maritime Technology, OMT, which is a ship design company, and 50% by Systematic, which is a Danish software company known for example by Cedarware software. Can you please tell us more about uh, the solution you're proposing alongside Thales to the Royal Danish Navy? I'd be very happy to. So the example we have here is the integration of a Captas 4 in a Danish frigate. The reason why we've taken this example is that in Denmark there is a, a wish, uh, an expectation that we are going to, uh, to fit one of our frigates with uh, sonar equipment, anti-submarine warfare sonar equipment. Um, so it was, a, it was an obvious choice in our cooperation with Thales to say, do we have something that we can, we can showcase how we can cooperate as two companies with technology that would benefit the, the Danish Navy. So first here we have part of the cubed in concept, which is a configurator. So we can go in to our software system and we can choose, let's say we are the Danish Navy, and we choose the kind of vessel that we are going to configure. In this case, we choose the Absalon frigate. Select, and we go to the configuration. Part of the configurator is preloaded with different kind of equipment for different kind of missions. That's the whole idea with modular payload. In this case, we have the Captus 4, towed body, towed array, and we have a Technic um, container where all the software and, and panels, electrical panels, cooling panels are inside. Then we also put some extra equipment that could be uh, needed when you do an anti-submarine warfare uh, operation. We choose the equipment that we want on board. We choose the position where it should be fitted. And we get an information. Everything is okay. The configuration is accepted. There is no constraints in weight, in power. We, can, we are able to run this, uh, this configuration. Had it been, for example, other users on the vessel with electricity uh, and there was not enough to also run this mission, we would be informed by the configurator. You have to change your configuration. So here we see on the deck, we have the towed array. In the port side, we have the towed body. We have the cubed in interface panel. Here we get the power for running the whole system. It's pre-designed into the ship's design that here we need an outstation. So we need power, but also we need data cables so we can connect the system to the ship systems, the IPMS system, the CMS system, so that the crew on board have the same information available on modular payload as they would with fixed payloads. Then we have the uh, running. Then we have a panel on the module itself that we connect. On this side, on the ship side, we have the cubed in utility. That's where we could have cooling. For example, the total array needs uh, water for cooling, so it needs to be water available. So you could say cubed in is both a a ship technical um, configuration so that whatever module you put on board, it has what is required in terms of power, cooling, oil, whatever needs it made hay. But also a 
data connection to the ship so that the crew is able to, to see, is it running, are there any alarms, and even operate if that's a wish. We can also do, you know, on or off or uh, in terms of operating the equipment. In this case, I think in t the Captors 4 needs a special operating uh, room and, and special crew to do that. When the equipment is in operation, a lot of data is coming in, and that is Thales uh, data, you could say. But we can also showcase, in cooperation with Thales, some of that data in, in another screen than the one that follows the, uh, the Captors 4 equipment. For example, if you want to have it available in different places on the ship. So, in cooperation with Thales, we've taken data from the, the, the listening and the sounding, and then we are able to put it into a unified front end where we see, for example, this is how we have been sailing, this is some of the parameters, how fast have we been going, what have we been uh, detecting. So you could say Cubedin is very much a software, a configuration software and an integration software that allow modular payload to be fixed, integrated uh, on the ship. And that's the whole idea, the, to make life better and easier for the crew that is handling and operating uh, the equipment. And it's super exciting that this could be an opportunity for us in Denmark together with Thales to also make the proof of concept how, how this would work besides, uh, besides a video you could say. <laughs> <laughs>